Tuesday. Okay, she might. Do you? You got everything? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Love you. Can you get it? Yes. Come on, lunchbox. Oh. Bye, Mom. Bye. Love you. It has been probably a week since we've, well yeah, it's been about a week since we've been back from our vacation. All last week, I really just got caught up on stuff. I didn't film or anything at all. Dalton and Dalen, I just dropped them off at school. They do not have to wear a mask anymore at school. They also lifted the mask mandate here in Illinois even though I know there's still businesses that still require you to have a mask. Anyways, so that's exciting that they don't have to wear a mask going to school. Any kids don't have to wear a mask on the bus or anything anymore. Um, what else? Brett is also back to work. There's been a lot of changes, but what else? There's something else. I also cut my hair. Uh, yesterday, I cut it by myself. I watched a YouTube video. You section it off and yeah, I cut it myself <laughs> with the YouTube video. I thought about it like all day yesterday and I'm like, or two days ago and I'm like, screw it. I'm just gonna cut my hair. So I cut it myself. Oh, I got some things done around the house. It is slushy, sloppy, muddy in my yard. And I'm telling you what, it is a pain that when you have dogs and you have a yard like this, like right as, oh, my truck smells good. <laughs> I forgot I put these. This is the best scent air freshener. It looks super like it's gonna be perfumey. It smells very um, like tropical. It smells very nice. As soon as you walk off my crappy little porch there, it is just mud. And of course, when the dogs come in, they come right around that and go up. Oh my gosh. I need to like get myself together here. I have a couple different errands I need to run before I get the kids from school. I'm also looking into, um, I need to start making like after school snacks because they come home and they're like starved to death because they, you know, just had lunch like two hours ago. So I need to figure out something I can start making after school. Muffins are, I know it's not like fruit and vegetables, but muffins are a good filling snack after school, especially you can add some like applesauce and um, flaxseed and stuff like that in them. So I might do that after I get home, depending on how long it's gonna take me. I have to run by the bank. Um, I have to get straw because tomorrow it's gonna be really, really nice and I need to clean. I keep calling it the goat pen. I really do miss the goats. I, I, I think I will always just feel terrible about having to get rid of them but I need to um, clean out the chicken coop and it's gonna be almost 60 degrees tomorrow so it would kind of be dumb not to and then the weather's gonna get a little bit colder so it'd be the perfect day to do it plus I don't have anywhere to go tomorrow and then lastly it's about half an hour drive but the place that I got this tattoo um, I'm gonna get more and so I need to go up and instead of calling to make the appointment and then driving the half an hour to go put a deposit down I'm just gonna go there talk to him put my deposit down all in one trip if that makes sense it seems in my mind it seems like the smarter thing to do than like call and just so honorary Anyways, I need to run and do that. Um, but yeah, it seemed like the smarter thing to do to just run up there and get it all done in one thing. So I don't know how much time I'm gonna have after I get back, because that's an hour of my time. It's done, all my little errands are done. I got everything done that I needed to get done. I went out, made my appointment. My issue with um, scheduling an appointment, like my tattoo appointment, is that I really, because it's half an hour away, 
I really need like the earliest time possible. And I would love to have it scheduled during the day while my kids are at school, but like it just scheduling, it doesn't work out because they don't open until noon. And I don't know how long this next one's gonna take. And it's just like, ugh. so I had to schedule it on a Sunday. Uh, completely forgot too that I was gonna put dinner in the crock pot and it takes like six hours and it's one o'clock. So that will be fun, right chap? Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So don't oh, eat them all. Oh, hi. Oh, me or her? Her. Oh. Your no, drinks no. came in. They're out on the See that. Other than all my errands that I had to run today, I also went up to sandwich and I made myself another tattoo appointment. Yeah. Just getting undressed right here. <laughs> Our poor yard. Hey, Mom. What, baby? Hello, my name is Izzy. This is Izzy. 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 <laughs> You're goofy. I got your jacket. Stay out of the mud. Don't let the dogs out, okay? I don't want them all muddy, like just mud. Oh. Hey. Hello again. Hi. So, what are you doing? Hi, Bubu. Hi, May. Hey, Mom. My friend no. said, my, I said, hey, why is this called? My friend said, Joker. Well, she's landing. And <laughs> I'm stuck. Sorry, you're talking to me, and I'm like, yes. I couldn't walk. You do it at 4 o'clock. So mm -hmm. 7. Good and then morning. it's 7. So 7 plus 1 will be 8. And then 8. 80 plus 2 then will be 2. So this one. No. Isn't it? No, look. Oh. Because if you add that to this. So I was just kidding. That one's right. <laughs> I'm, done, I'm done helping you, obviously. <laughs> what is the other one? Children, what? They're both children. Is this yeah, sum right. equal? Is this sum equal? Get your heart. 544. Choose yes or no. Mom, I kind of, oh. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I'm dead. I can't do my work. Eh? Mom, is this right? <laughs> no. <I'm> like, <laughs> go get your homework done. No, this one's right. Go get your homework done. This isn't right, right? I did. What, babe? Because if you add five plus one, that's six. Yeah. Is wow. the sum equal to five forty-four? So no. Four forty-four. Yep, that's right. All right, put your name on it. Put it back in there. You're Yay! Really done with your homework. Are there a lot of kids dressed up like super colorful today? Neon. Yeah. So when I went shopping with my mom, 
um, I think like two Sundays ago, I found a bunch of really, really cute stuff for... Can we not? Daylin, stop growling. <laughs> No more after that. I'm but kidding. you're you're getting that all over. Do it I over the sink. Do it over the sink or something. <laughs> you can have a Gatorade. That's fine. Powerade. A Powerade. That's fine. Huh? Powerade. Okay. Um, when I went shopping with my mom. Can you open it? <laughs> One second. Yeah. I need to buy you different shoes. Look at Mae's eyebrow. She has hair. <laughs> They're supposed to be for your dad's lunch. Here, go put this back. So I don't want you drinking. I'll drink all of them every single day. You don't need to come home and drink that every day. Um, I found some really, really cute uh, things for their Easter baskets. And I will do a video on that probably on Instagram so that these little children do not find it. Well, my dearest thing away, don't ask. Do you want to get it out of the garbage? No, I don't What I'm trying to show you is that when I went shopping with my mom, there was a bunch of really cute shops. Her friends have a little shop called Sugar, Sugar Boo and Company. And I saw, oh my God, flipped around. I saw this really, really cute route oh, cool. I saw this really cute sign that it it's it looks like paper and it looks like it's ripped. So I need to get a big um, frame, probably at Michael's. I need to run up to Target and Michael's next week to get kitchen liners. The hinges and stuff will be in tomorrow to finish the doors. I need to do liners. I need to go up and get um, get some jeans for myself, and then run by Michael's and get... What are you doing over there? I need to get a picture this frame. For this, but I thought this was really cute, and I actually might put this... Oh, this is my third one. <laughs> and maybe replace that with... I don't know. I think that'd be sweet. And then I'll put that somewhere else. And I want to get some like really vintage looking cowboy kind of pictures to put underneath here. Excuse you. made it for my children because I am getting ready to work out <laughs> so I, I don't remember if you guys remember last summer when I had really bad anxiety um, for whatever reason and I I don't I don't know how do I say this me venting I guess venting if that's what you want to call it me venting is not about trying to get attention or trying to like create drama or anything like that. That is far from what I ever want anything on my videos to be taken. I know the difficult parts of being a mom and being a wife and, you know, doing all the household things. A lot of the time it's not talked about or it's played down. And yes, there's good days. There's also bad days. And, you know, my anxiety was so bad last summer that I started running and that really, really, really helped. It didn't necessarily make it go away, but it was like an outlet. You know what I mean? Like, I, it didn't just disappear because I started running, but getting into healthy habits helped my mindset a ton. Um, and I still have anxiety, not to that extent, but I still have it just here and there. Um, I think with the weather changing too, it's kind of got me in a better mood as well with things. Where I'm going with this is I always talk about my best friend and I were talking about this like we always talk about like okay we need to sit down and read with our kids tonight or one night out of the week we need to take them on their own little like date night or you know just little little things like that that would make a world of difference and I talk about it but I don't ever follow through with it okay sorry I had to help Daylin um 
remember where I was at in that conversation. Um, so I told Dalton and Day, I'm like, why don't every morning, careful, it's hot, it's hot. So I said every morning when you come downstairs before school, let's just read a little bit out of, out of your Bible. Make I love it, it. Make a habit out of that. Um, no, I have pork loin, or uh, what's that called? What am I making? Pork. Uh, pot roast. <laughs> I'm making pot roast for dinner, but the crock pot's hot. <coughs> so be careful. They have one on the shelf. No, baby, it's hot. I'm eating dinner yet. Look, look in here. See my toes? What about them? You see them? <laughs> yes, I see them. That's what they do, Goofy. I know. Anyways, I want to start making habits, better habits, with certain things like that. What I'm going to do is I'm a full-on list maker, so I'm going to sit down. I'm gonna make a list of all the things that I have, like reading at night. What's Tom and Jerry on? I have no idea. Can you please stop sniffing me? So I'm gonna sit down and make a list of all the things that I have been putting off or wanting to do, but just never follow through with it. Just, and not that I have to stick to it, but just so that I can, um, I don't know, I'm such like a list writer downer. What? So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do that. I'm also going to, I've been making positive changes in my eating as well. I eat pretty good to begin with, but I do like to uh, eat dessert. I like my sweets. So that's something that I need to do less of, but that's hard for me. Um, but working out makes a huge difference too. So trying to get some positive changes here. Six o'clock, this should be done. In <laughs> about, 20 minutes it should be done, okay? I'm sorry, I put it in late. Do I 